to listening to outer voices instead of our inner voices. pleasing. Yeah. And let's not blame ourselves for it. I mean, right. from the time we're born, what is the compliment our culture can bestow upon women? She's so selfless. Like, let's think about that for a minute. Right. The ultimate compliment for a woman is you do not even have a self, right? And then we wonder, and then we get right. to this age where we can't find ourselves anymore, and we wonder why. Right. Your online community is called Monastery. Mm -hmm. And you literally started writing in a closet. Yeah? I've come out of the closet in so it, many I, ways. Uh, yes. You said it, but yes. bump. Now, just don't get too ahead of the story. Sorry. <laughs> Teaser. Spoiler <laughs> alert. Nice. The world has convinced us somewhere along the line that if we choose what's best for us, that it will be screwing everyone we care about. There could be nothing further from the truth, right? What is right, right and true and good and precise for me is inevitably what is right and true and precise and good for my people. Maybe if women started to go after what they wanted, worlds would crumble. And maybe those are the exact worlds that, that we need, need to, crumble. to crumble. Exactly. So that our creation can be rebuilt on something truer and fairer and less patriarchal. So I think that what we are finding in our time and our culture right now is that women are starting to figure out that what they want is true and good. And when that happens, things are gonna get interesting. Oh